Welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're in Luke 24, verses 44 to 49. Then he said to them, These are the words which I spoke to you while I was still with you, that all things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms concerning me. And he opened their understanding that they might comprehend the Scriptures. Then he said to them, Thus it is written, and thus it was necessary for the Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day, and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name to all nations beginning at Jerusalem. And you are witnesses of these things. Behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tarry in the city of Jerusalem until you are endued with power from on high. And so Jesus gives some parting instructions to his disciples. They need to receive the Holy Spirit. Jesus is going to heaven. The Father is going to receive his sacrifice. Jesus is going to ask for the Holy Spirit to be poured out upon them in a fresh, new, full way. And that's what's going to happen. But Jesus tells his people they need to wait. Hold on tight. There are great things ahead. Just make sure you're spiritual ready. I wonder how many things we're missing that we've missed out on that God would have done for us, but you and I, perhaps at different times, we were simply not spiritually ready. We could have been, but we weren't. And Jesus here has a word for them, and if we apply it to our life, realize that God wants to use you. God wants to do things through you. Uh, whether it's to give a word of wisdom to somebody, whether it is to encourage and strengthen and give courage to someone, whether it's to preach, whether it's to actually have some part in a, in a healing event, or whatever the case may be, the Father wants to use you. Many way, at times it's a very simple way. Uh, but you know what? Many times we're not available. Our, our head is too full of stuff that's spinning in there. We're thinking about things. We got to do a big list of things, and we're full of nervousness and there's no space for the Holy Spirit to kind of get in there and get us into the right spot. So, so friends, let's make sure we're available to our King for his service day by day. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you that you can uh, help us, you can transform us, you can use us in your service. And Lord, as we're looking at the example of Jesus, we realize that there are many things you want to do. We want You want to use us in your service, but perhaps many times we're we're not paying close enough attention. We're missing opportunities to good to others. So bless us, Lord. Help us to, to have your guidance. Help us so that we can do good for others and to others. And this is our prayer today in Jesus' name. Amen. See you tomorrow morning. But in the meantime, you be blessed.